In this video, I'm going to show you how to locally install this Zephyr 7 billion alpha model, which is the fine tuned version of Mistral 7B. Zephyr is a series of language models that are trained to act as helpful assistant. The Zephyr 7 billion alpha is the first model of this series. And in this video, we'll be installing it locally on Google Colab. You can use the same commands to get it installed on any Linux version or even in AWS SageMaker Notebook, or if you are using Windows, you can use it to install a Windows subsystem uh, for Linux or WSL. You can even try it out in Git Bash in Windows. Okay, so let's get started. I already have my Google Colab Notebook ready. The first thing we need to do is to install few of the prerequisites modules, which are Transformers and Optimum. Let me install them with pip install transformer space optimum. Let's wait for it to finish. It shouldn't take too long. Both of the modules are installed. In the next step, we are going to install GPTQ library because that is uh, what we need for quantization. And for this video, I'll be using the quantized version of this. Uh, model z 7 billion alpha from Blog. So thanks to Blog for this quantized version. Let's in first clone that auto GPTQ library. I would need to put an exclamation mark, which I always forget. Should be done. That is good. Now let's cd to that directory. Let's check out the stable branch of this repo. And now install everything in this branch of this auto GPTQ. And this takes around two to three minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. Auto GPTQ is done. Now in the next step, let's download the model and quantize, uh, sorry, tokenize it. So as you can see in this code, I'm just importing some of the libraries and then I'm downloading this Zephyr 7 billion quantized model and then using the tokenizer for it from the auto tokenizer. Let's run it. And if you check the blocks file, this file is around 4.16 GB. So that is what it is going to download. So let's see how it goes. So there you go. You can see that it is now downloading 4.16 gig of file. So let's wait for it to finish. And while it runs it, make sure that once when you start doing this, you are using T4 runtime here, not the CPU. Model is downloaded. Now let's start playing with it. So this is the code which I'm going to use in which first I'm giving it a prompt. And this is the prompt template required by this model. And then simply I'm generating the input with the tokenizer and then passing it to the model which will generate the output on the basis of these hyperparameters. Temperature deals with ran randomness and then sampling the top probability of the output top P top K and then how much uh, max token it is going to return. And then we are feeding it to the pipeline and then printing out the output. So let's run it. The first prompt I'm asking it is, what is the capital of Australia? Let's see what it returns. There you go. The speed is awesome. And it is remember that it's a fine tuned version of Mistral 7B. So the answer is correct. Let's ask it a bit more complex question. Write me steps to renovate a bathroom and give cost of each step in Australian dollars. Let's run it. I'm particularly impressed by the speed of this model where it is returning the result fairly quickly. Let's see the accuracy of the result now. Let's wait for it. There you go. You can see that it has not only given me step-by-step -step plan, 
to renovate a bathroom, but also it is uh, working on getting its cost, I believe. Let's scroll to the right to see if it is, uh, yeah. So you can see that it has printed out the cost now with each step. And that is good. Let's, I think it's finished in rating. There you go. So all the steps, all the cost, and seems pretty accurate to me too, which is nice. Okay, now let's ask it a, maybe a coding question if it is able to do that. Write me a Python program to reverse a list. Let's see. It came back fairly quickly, which is nice, and the answer is very quick. So not only it can deal with complex questions, role playing like a bathroom renovator, it can also answer some of the geographical questions plus also generate a code. So fairly nice, I would say quite impressed by this one. And as you know, uh, these are improving every day, which is awesome. I'll drop the link to the Zephyr, uh, hugging, Zephyr's Hugging Face page so that you can read more about it. If you have any questions or if you are stuck anywhere, please feel free to ask in the comments and I'll be happy to help out. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.